Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. We're on the Yellowstone River again with a guest, of course. Hi, everyone. Montana Rock Mom. <laughs> we got our kayaks out, and we're hitting up a handful of the islands down here. And we're going to make sure there's no agates left. So we're taking them all. Right. So make sure. Before we get started, make sure you go over to Kim's channel, Montana Rock Mom. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. She finds just beautiful stuff from you know, all over Montana. So make sure you check it out. Thanks. There we go. This guy's got a little bit of color. A little bit of the brown manganese staining in there. Tiny little quartz pocket on him. Not too bad. First find of the day, so we'll work with it. Got another little agate nodule hanging out right here. It's kind of glowing in the sun. Looks like you might have a little bit of banding right there. Oh, nice. Check that out. A beautiful druzy pocket. Our mouth on him. And there's just a slight banding that goes around it. Flip it around. That didn't really help. It's hoping to get it to really sparkle in the sun. Looks like we got us a piece of banded chert right here. Just a little guy. It's got some pretty cool banding. If my phone will decide to uh, keep its focus straight. Come on. Yeah, these guys tumble pretty good. We're just cruising through right here. Kim was nice enough to give me a little tow. There isn't really a like current right here, so get through it, get to the next island even faster. But we are coming up on eagles on our way over here. I'll try and zoom in on it with my phone, but it's not going to be good quality. But there's a big old eagle just hanging out right there. There was a few more, but they already flew off, unfortunately. Well, on to the next island, I suppose. Got this little guy right here. I'm in the light. I'll just scoot over. There we go. Looks like he has some nice bandings in this one. Oh yeah. A little bit of banding pattern going around him. Nice agate nodule just hanging out right here. Hitchhiker on there. Got some weird imprints on him. <laughs> That's crazy. Doesn't look like there's too much going on with it. Some of those little imprints, there's a little bit of sparkle, some druzy. Yeah, that's strange. Got another one hiding out. Just barely poking through the dirt here. Kind of a funky one, too. A nice little druzy pocket on him. That'll do. Yeah, it's a nice egg. Once again, 
glowing in the sun. It's got some color to him. Check out this very strange, but yet awesome, piece of petrified wood. Got some really good tree rings going on this guy. And it's almost like a whitish color. It's a good chunk too. I suppose I could take this guy with me. We made it to a new island with a bunch of big rocks. And right here, we got a nice chunk of agate. Let's see. Oh man, look at that druzy pocket, that's a good chunker, maybe pound and a half, two pounds, but that's the cool part, right up in there, there's a nice little kind of quartz band going around it. There we go. It's been a minute since we found something, but we got a nice egg. Yet. Oh, wait a minute. And possibly a treasure state egg. Yet. First, we'll grab this guy. This goofy shaped rock. Looks like it has a little bit of moss pieces in there. So it'll be worth taking with us, but then, right here, the treasure state egg, it's just not a very high quality one. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, no way. Take a look at this guy. Looks like it's got some just phenomenal bending going through this one. Oh yeah, you can really see it on that spot. Nothing with the back, but that face of it, it's just a nice banding pattern going all the way around it. That's awesome. See how nice fine those bands are? That's a good sign for some iris. Definitely gonna have to cut this one, see what we can come up with. So, unfortunately for this last section, my phone was being troublesome and it turned all my videos sideways like I had my phone straight up while I was recording. So I put all these videos together because I didn't want to go back and forth. Yeah, my phone just doesn't want to focus on them. There we go. Little quartz pocket. Right on. Got this little funky looking guy. Kind of just glowing in the sun. Yeah, it's a strange one. Doesn't look too special. Well, never mind. I was wrong. There's a little bit of banding pattern around that quartz. Nice. Such a goofy shape, too. <laughs> it's a nice piece of jasper hanging out right here, too. It's a big old chunk. Take a look at the colors of this guy. That's really cool. Look at that. I think it's rhyolite. 
I do believe so. It's got some red, a little yellow, a little bit of purple in there. Ish. <laughs> Just a little guy, but it's pretty sweet. Check this out right here. Looks like we got ourselves a little treasure state egg. Just a little guy. I will get everything cleaned up at the end. Better close-ups and everything. So just make sure you stay tuned for that. It'll be nice. I promise. Got this little guy just wedged in there. Let's see what we can see. A little bit of green in this one. Not too bad. I'll have to wash them off, of course. Alright, now we got ourselves a better treasure state egg. Look at this guy. A bit better banding around that quartz face. Here's a nice chunk of agate. These rocks are getting hot. Oh, nice. A little quartz pocket on him. That's a decent sized little chunk of agate. Had a nice little agate tucked in right here. See if we can free him. Oh, this stuff out of the way. Maybe. Come on. There we go. A nice little chunker. Looks like there's a little bit going on in there. Not too much. Alright, we're back at the house now. And I can get everyone cleaned off, get all the good close-ups in there, you know, all that good stuff. So I'll go ahead, take a look at all the finds, and see what we're working with. As you can see, this nice piece of petrified wood right here. Didn't need a lot of cleaning, but this one's really cool. It's great tree rings, different color, it's really nice. So I picked this piece of petrified wood up. I didn't know how nice it was until I washed it off. It's got some really cool little agate bands in there. Definitely gonna have to tumble this one. Yeah, that's really nice. Then we got this piece of what I do believe is rhyolite. If it's not, go ahead, let me know in the comments. That's cool. I'm just assuming it's rhyolite. So, but it's really cool. It's got some good colors. Nice little guy. And we got our nice little guy of a banded shirt right here. Most definitely, I'll be putting this one in the tumbler. They usually turn out really nice. So if you got some, I suggest you tumble it. Then we got this really nice little TSA. Has like just super fine banding going around that quartz face. And a nice little blue tint to it as well. But the rest of it, it's just, looks like just host rock with a nice 
quartz pocket with fortification. That's usually what I kind of consider my treasure state agates. You know, they gotta have the nice fortification pattern on the uh, post rock. This little guy's got some really nice banding in there. You gotta have like something behind it to see it, otherwise you just see right through it. Because it's a really clear little agate. Then we got this goofy shaped agate. When I was cleaning it, I noticed there is a little hole right down there. So you can see a nice little hole going through this guy. It's like a little hagstone agate. You can make a necklace out of this piece. Then we got this treasure state agate once again but a better quality one has a little bit better of a uh, you know fortification pattern going around the uh, quartz face there the back of it just looks like jasper right there if I can get it to focus yeah it just kind of looks like a yellow jasper then you just got the uh, nice quartz face with a, a light fortification pattern going around it Looks pretty cool. I always love finding these guys. So then we got this strange agate. It's got a lot of little host rock pieces stuck in the back. All over it. But then you get to that front part, has that nice little cave in there. I don't know if you'd consider that a druzy pocket or if those are if it's quartz instead. It doesn't sparkle much. But it has little little fine points. And I wonder if that like white streak going through there is common opal or what? If you know, let me know. This is a strange agate. Then of course we got this super fine banding one. That's just crazy. Those lines are so close together. Most definitely gonna have to give this one a cut. See if we can find some iris in it. You know, it's just crazy how close those bands are together. There's a little bit of, like, you know, manganese staining in there and whatnot. So. If there's no iris, it'll still look cool, I'm sure. Be worth the cut. Well, for the rest of the stuff, I'm just going to do a little close-up of everything. Show you what we found. So, go on ahead. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you want for more stuff. And have a good day. Take care, everybody.